Hello and welcome back to episode 10 of Rise of Florence. We're playing as Florence in EU4 with the 1356 mod and Age as Reformed as well. As you can see, we have grown quite large. Um, oh, and every other mod um, in the mods that we are using for this thing are listed in the description below, so you can check those out if you wish to. Um, but as you can see, we've grown quite large. Uh, we control a very good portion of Italy. Um, to form Italy, we need, what, Genoa, Milano, and Roma still. So a couple more wars yet, but we are making much progress. We just eclipsed France for the time being, so I think for now, let's go ahead and rival the Lithuanians. Uh, the Hungarians are at war with you over what? Vlor. Oh, they're attacking the Albanians. Well, that's uh, pretty disappointing for you, I guess. We have an army drilling. Uh, we could start looking for reasons to go to war with the Genoese. But I think Milano is most certainly our next target. I won't get any help against them, but... I think we can take them. We do have quite a bit of aggressive expansion, though. And I think annexing them would make these two boys definitely not very happy. But I think we could actually afford it. So let's stop drilling our army. We'll get them up into position. And our free company as well for the sieging. Uh, we'll go ahead and support the Florentine school. Uh, Novgorod, we're not quite there yet, huh? Who are you rivaled with? Lithuania? Perfect. Let's insult them scornfully. And there we go. Half price on a improved relations guy. So we will take them and boost them up to level 5. Handpicked bureaucrats. Another hundred administrative power, but... Oh, there we go. We'll take this. We will take this. We will take handpicked bureaucrats for... To recoup that. We can go ahead and get ourselves... Uh, clean government as well. Make haste slowly. We'll come in due time. With any luck... Uh, we could go ahead and upgrade with our tech. So we can get men-at-arms finally. So there we go. We'll take the men-at-arms. And I was thinking... I was considering taking Plutocratic now for the sole fact that we will possibly become a kingdom. But I don't know. So I think actually I will go for... Offensive. I just love that trio. So let's take offensive. Although... There are different idea groups here. Yeah, I think I'll still go with offensive. 20% um, siege ability, land force limit modifier. Offensive is just too good. Uh, so we should switch our focus to be on military points, and we could invite a great thinker now, but we have three plus five advisors for the time being. I think I'll just stick with that. As soon as our um, morale has recovered, we will go into this war. Peruzzi, Grimaldi, Barbini, so no, we will... Keep this guy. And he is a 356. Petition for redress.
go ahead and deny that petition. We can shift consolidate just to get our front line ready because I think it is time for war. Bunch of little guys and Milano. Some free inventiveness, I will take that. Go ahead and help them siege. You can... You'll blow open the wall. Some papal influence, sounds good to me. Uh, we'll just take the influential trade family, that's fine. Can take our next idea group. We can roll marry the Hungarians, let's do it. Siege of Milano is over. Uh, they have went back onto Milano. Let's get them taken care of. Just blow open the walls here. Let's get this taken care of real quick. That siege is over. Oh, you scoundrels. Did they just stack white my Merc company? Take care of that army. Get down on to Milano. Take care of this army. Okay, we are capped out there. We are quite far ahead of time on Diplotex, so we are going to go ahead and use a lot of them points for promoting Mercantilism. So we could get ourselves 50 Diplo points, or we could get ourselves 25 and improve relations with a ton of countries. I think I'll take the 25 and improve with a ton of countries. I think that makes the most sense. Uh, the Malta Forts is not under our control yet, so we're not going to worry about it. We'll go ahead and piece these boys out and just get money and war reps, trade power, have them in a rivalry. Okay, we are well, well ahead on admin points. And we have a development edict already placed here. I think I was thinking about upgrading that. Gonna retake this province real quick.
And if we just take Milano and take a bunch of money, we could do that. I don't think there's any alliances I really want to end for them. So Milano is most important right now. Let's get it taken care of. Get it under our control. We can come back for the rest later. We'll go ahead and core it up. Uh, we can take uh, this time... Sure, let's go with Changing World. And we can take our next policy. And we really need to get our uh, manpower pull recovered at this point. Still can't build barracks. Go and build a marketplace where we can. Still not willing to become defender of the faith. It's going to take both of those and. Get ourselves some Papal Influence. Could take Admin Tech if we wished. Okay, I did full state that already. Uh, let's just spend those points? Oh, we can't. We don't even really need the admin power, I guess. So sure, we'll get rid of that guy. And let's go ahead and invite a great thinker then. We'll get an admin guy and we'll go with a treasure. Oh, here he is, 54 ducats. Boost him twice. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and take tech well ahead of time. We can start building workshops. I think that's worth it for me. And we're way, way up on our admin tech anyway. And I would rather build up my workshops than start spending it on developing provinces. Especially when you consider we can just exploit it. Which I'll do right now. Load up our coffers again. Uh, we can take offensive ideas. We're going to burn straight up through those. Go ahead and summon another diet. Manpower at least 50%. That's definitely going to take a while. Uh, Byzantine refugees, tech cost reduction. Sounds good. Um, I should tell Saluzo that I'm also interested in this province right here. So they'll start building claims on this stuff. I can tell that to Verona. They'll take care of that. Tell this to... Sicily. They'll work on that for us. We could go here. We could even go to, like, to here. And down here. Truce with France is over. Uh, plus 20% morale of armies is very nice. Build up some more workshops. We'll just build them everywhere, even in my subjects' lands. Uh, 60 diplo points or 2 mercantilism. I'll take the mercantilism.
Oh, looks like the Shadow Kingdom is getting ready to fire. We're still in doing good on our governing capacity. So I'm not concerned about that. There's going to be our extra siege ability bonus. Go ahead and spend some more points to try and retake the papacy. We had it for a little bit. We lost it real quick, though. We lost our claim on Nitza. It's fine. Um, I do want to make sure we're improving with allies and subjects. Uh, we'll take the Papal Influence. Uh, we could go ahead and take... Nobility cannot be bought. Our Medici General has died, huh? I don't know how I actually opened that up. The Shadow Kingdom. So we are allied to the Emperor. Uh, do I have an Imperial map mode? There we go. So it looks like everyone else left. Except me and my subjects. I think I'm not concerned with the Empire anymore. This will let us upgrade our rank, I'm sure. Yes, it will. We're now a kingdom, which means we can take another mission. Which is just going to give us some points. But still, that is perfectly fine with me. Less inflation than any neighbor have zero inflation. Uh, we can take care of that right now. Just put ourselves at zero inflation. Public works, six own manufactories. Now, six own manufactories is going to be a little bit more difficult. There's three. Importing iron. I'm just going to take the free mercantilism. We can take our next tech, which gives us a bigger force limit. Or not tech, uh, idea. I'm going to go ahead and just push that even farther. That gives us even more money. Go ahead and build another manufactory with this one in Arezzo. Uh, we will keep an alliance with the Austrians, most certainly. Hmm. I guess the admin power at this point, probably the best. So we're currently at Tech 12 and it said we need to be at what, Tech 16 to form both of these nations? I mean, we can form Tuscany right away. Let's see here. Consolidation of power. All power costs minus 2%, minus 15 stab. Plus 2 advisors and monthly autonomy change. Re-election increases absolutism by 10, lose 60 absolutism per new roller. This doesn't really matter, it would just be re-election cost reduction. New men is... Oh, we're going to go for new men. Oh yeah. Gift of the state. We'll take the money. And that'll let us build even more manufactories. Spend our papal points. 
And we are just waiting to complete... There we go, that estate agenda is done. Uh, we'll just spend the Diplo points, it's fine. And now we could consider warfare options once again. So the Ottomans would defend Treviso. And the Ottomans are most likely at their strongest right now. Me and my allies, though, all have tech advantage on them. And my only real concern is blitzing the Venetians. Uh, we'll take the Papal Influence. Let's go ahead and stop drilling our army for the time being. Some more mill points, sure. Let's build another manufacturing, and we'll take this here, and this will give us recover army morale speed. All that fun stuff. So, we definitely want modern siege weapons. I can go ahead and drop that. I don't care about that at all. Economic policy. We'll just reduce mercantilism. It's fine. Yeah, we are fairly hotboxed in right now. I mean, the Hungarians are going to take the brunt of any assaults there. That's a big beefy Ottomans. It's kind of scary. Not going to lie. Genoa is my other option, but Hungary is allied to them, so I can only call in Austrian Castile. And is a free city. You guys are allied to Austria. Oh, Savoy stayed in the Empire too, huh? We got a truce with Milan. Aragon is PU'd by Castile. Truce with Naples is over. They're allied with Castile and England. Okay, my A is definitely ticked down at this point quite a bit. I need to make a move on somebody. You know, since the last episode was longer, I will end this episode here, and then I think we might attack Venice and call in all of our allies, and see what kind of damage we can do to the Ottomans. So, if you want to see that, I would like to see you in the next one, so if you liked the video, I'd appreciate a like. If you really liked it, I would appreciate a subscription, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.